No organization is responsible for the content of this video. All errors and omissions are the sole responsibility of myself, David Iverson. This video must not be your only source of information. Please attend official USSA educational opportunities. Please download official USSA educational materials. All right, so this video is going to need some editing, and I'm starting the touch on it, so I'll let you know at the end how long the entire process takes. But I have a computer that I started off with. It had no split second on it, and it has never been hooked up to a timer before. So um, this can be a process for sometimes, but we'll see how it goes right now and see how much uh, work I have to do to make it happen. Um, so first off, I'm going to plug in my timer. Okay, so then uh, down here in the corner, it looks like it is searching for new hardware. And it's probably not going to find it. My guess is that it's not going to find it. No driver found. Okay, so I have a solution for that. And what we're going to do is, first off, we're just going to open up split, split second, and we're going to find out what we know is the case. Okay, so we're going to go up to timing, setup and test, uh, USB, timer, algae timey not connected and we go to timey control and go up here timey log on no timey usb driver may not have been installed a driver must be downloaded via the link above and then the timey must be attached for the computer to finish installation this must be done before starting the software. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect the timey and then click here for timey USB driver. Okay, timey and timey 2 USB driver. I click on that. And so I've got it. I got it right there. So C driver. Okay. So now let's see what happens if I plug this in. Okay, so not exactly sure where I am at this point in time. I plugged it in and I did not really get, I got a little beep. And let's go to my control panel. Hardware and sound. Add a device. And it doesn't appear to be seeing anything. Go up here to, let's see. So I'm going to close this. Go to Device Manager. Other devices, own oh, none device. Okay, so I want to update the, so I went to Device Manager, and I found an unknown device. 
and so I think that's the one. Uh, and so I'm going to browse for it. And it was in the driver right there. And Windows can't verify the this software, and that's fine. Okay, Windows has successfully updated your driver software. Windows has finished installing the driver for this device, Timey USB device. Close. Device is working properly, so it should be good. Right now, I am 12 minutes into the process. So, uh, 12 minutes into it with some missteps. And now we're going to uh, close everything out and we're going to go to split second. And I get that warning message. Here's some revision information. All right, so now let's do a setup and test. And USB algae timey. Timey is not connected. Now I should be able to go And I haven't gotten it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try restarting my machine and see if that has an effect. Okay, so I just installed some new software. So it's always a good idea to um, restart the machine. And I had to shut down the video capture program and start the video capture program. So right now I am about 20 minutes into the process. So I will edit out a whole bunch of that, but just letting you give a timestamp, I'm now 20, 21 minutes into the project of adding the algae timey to be functional. Okay, so now we're back to uh, the uh, National FIS software, and we're onto uh, that, and timey control, and is still not seeing it. Okay, so then I remember something that uh, was explained to me a while ago. And so once you get this set up, it should work once you've got it set up. Um, but something that was explained to me a year ago is, or a while ago is that there's a program that you're going to have to use to sort of force a connection. So I'm going to go back to the Algae website and try to find that. Okay, this is not what I wanted. So let's see, I'm gonna go to just, I'm gonna back it up and I'm gonna go to algaetiming.com. Let's see what I get there. Okay, and so then I want to go to, there should be a software somewhere or download. Uh, PC software. So I want to go to PC software. And where was the what? There's one that I remember. Com to file. So I remember this com to file thing was really important. So we're going to get that COM2 file and we're going to open it. Okay, all files have finished downloading. 
and close this, close that, close that. Find my COM2 file that I downloaded. Downloads, COM2 file. Run it. Okay, so where is that COM2 file? There it is, right there. All right, so I finished. And open success okay so now it is communicating now I look and I can see that this is the sort of the pulse of the algae timey that I'm seeing and so that's a good thing so getting the com2 file loaded was definitely important so now if I go and do national fis Go back up to timing enabled, set up and test. Now my timey is connected. So now if I hit the start button on my timey, I get a start. And if I hit finish, I get a finish. Okay, so we are now 28 minutes and 30 seconds into the process. So it took me basically half an hour to get this set up. So what I needed to do, if I had not so again, different. this varies for different equipment. Um, I'm, I can only speak for the equipment that I have. I have an algae timey, and I've got a computer that I have never run a timey on before. Now, I could have done this a lot quicker if I knew what I was doing, but without knowing what I was doing, it took me about half an hour. Or sort of knowing what I was doing, it took me about half an hour. So what I wanted to do was... I should not have hooked up the timey to the computer. I should have gone, uh, let's see. I should have gone to this link here, the click for timey USB driver under the timey control. And then I should have downloaded that software, which I did. But then while I was on the algae website, while I was on the algae website, I should have gone to algaetiming.com, algae-e.htm, and I should have found under various software the COM2 file, and then downloading the COM2 file, and then launching the COM2 file. That sort of opened the connection to the timey so that now everything works. And now from here on in, this is pretty much all you need to do for uh, you just need to do it once and then once you've done it then every single time that you open up split second and you plug in your timey it should just be connected and again down here under the uh, under the status here this is the heartbeat of the timey so if you see this going you know that you're connected and then if I go close that if I push the start button on the out, on the timey, I get a start. If I hit finish, I get a finish. Okay, so that's that video.